Hey guys, welcome back. And in this week's episode, I'm showing you how to make a stamp with your K40 laser engraver. I'm sure this could be used with other diode lasers, other CO2 lasers. I'm using the K40 and that's what this tutorial is on, but try to adapt it for yourself. But instead of rambling on about this, I'm just gonna get to it and show you how I made this. I hope you enjoy the video. All right guys, we're at the computer and we are in a website right now called canva.com. I use this for quite a few different things. For making these stamps and setting up my initial image for whatever I'm doing on a laser cutter, this seems to work really well for me. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this image to 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter. And that's gonna be this white rectangle. That is our canvas. We need our image. I selected this Mandela one right here. Quite a bit of small detail here, so that'll be interesting but we've imported it and now we need to size it for what we need. I'm just going to bring both corners to the boundaries of my canvas and that'll give me the perfect size to where I can add what I need to vector cut out later on and we'll do that in Inkscape and I'll show you. All the links to all these programs I'm using, they'll be in the description also. I simply edit image and I remove the background I do this just in case there's any artifacts within the background. I've had that happen and it messes up whatever I'm engraving and it makes me mad. We have our image, we have our canvas, we are sized, we remove the background, and now it's time to download it as a PNG and we are done with Canva right now and we can move over to Inkscape and we can actually start to produce the file we need to make the stamp. All right guys, we are now in Inkscape and we need to import that PNG file that we just downloaded from Canva. It's simple as going to file, import, we're gonna click on our image and we're gonna get this PNG bitmap image import. I leave image DPI from file and I'm gonna move this to smooth and click okay. And that is going to bring that file that we just created. And as you see, there's this big rectangle here. For those who don't use Inkscape, this is the current document size. We will have to change this later to match what we're doing. What we need to do is create our vector that we're gonna to use to cut out the stamp initially. So I'm gonna create a circle. And this image is really easy. I can just handle the corner, drag it down to this corner, and it's perfectly even all the way around. Now, you see your red line here. Initially, when I would do this, it would not be, it would be solid red, just like this. And we do not want that, because we want our image, right? So to fix that, we're gonna come down here to these colors, and we're gonna go all the way to the left, to the X, where it says none, and we're gonna drag that over to the fill, because we don't want this filled. We just want the stroke to be red because that is going to be what is cut out within our software. Now, what we're going to do is this is going to be the back wood backing of the stamp that's going to be on the opposite side. So we want this to be just like this. And this is where we're going to change our document size to match. Come up here to document properties. You can also find this under file document properties. And we're gonna go down here to the orientation and custom size. All we're doing is we're gonna click resize page to drawing and it's just gonna simply create the box around exactly where we need it. So I'm gonna come up here to file, save as, and this is gonna save it as an Inkscape SVG. We have it set up as Mandela stamp and that part is done. And now we need to make the actual stamp what it's gonna do. Right now, if we were to cut this out on our stamp material, everything that is black would be cut out and we don't want that right now we want everything that's black we want that to be what is left when we stamp this on the paper or whatever material we're doing it to so we need to invert this image that's very easy to do we'll click on our image and we'll come up here to path trace bitmap and we're going to select our image over here in the window, we're going to invert image and we're going to update it. And you'll see it pop up this image right here. And it looks kind of ugly in this preview, but it's not going to look like that in the end. So we're going to apply it and it's going to change it to over here. And it looks pretty ugly, but we're going to pull this part down and we're going to delete our original file because we don't need that anymore. So we'll bring this up and we'll select both images and we're going to go to align and distribute and we're going to 
center on vertical and center on horizontal access and that's going to reset us to where we need to be so we're going to go back to the document properties because we need to resize this page because we've obviously moved it and it's easier to just resize it boom it snaps to it and it's going to be our file i'm not sure how it's going to come out exactly because you see it looks kind of weird around here it's kind of thin but I think that'll give the stamp some character. Like I said, you don't have to invert it, but I think this is gonna look really good. This is what I'm wanting. You can change it how you want it to be. Pretty much anything that's black is going to be raster engraved away. We don't want any of the black. And we have it cutting all the way out here because when we do our vector cut, we want that to also be low. We don't want that sticking up to interfere with our stamping surface or whatever we're stamping onto. You see the red, that's our vector cut. This image right here, this is done and this is ready to go to the laser in a grave. First we need to save as, once again, and this is gonna be the actual Mandela stamp and we'll save it off. And we are done in Inkscape right now. And we can move over to the laser software and go from there. All right, we're in K40 Whisper. This is the program we're going to use to communicate with the K40 laser. This is free. It works good for exactly what we need. First thing we need to do is open our file and we're gonna select the one that we inverted, the stamp, as you see here. The black is what we're going to raster and engrave and the red is going to be a vector cut. Everything is ready to go. We just need to initialize the laser cutter. We need to go set our material up and we're going to set our raster engrave. The lower we do this, the deeper it's going to cut here. I have cut successfully or engraved at 400 millimeters a second. It just didn't leave a big enough impression on the stamp to get a good clean stamp. So we're gonna leave this at 100 for this application. It's gonna take a little longer to do, but it's gonna produce much more cleaner results. After that, when we finish engraving it, we'll come down here to vector cut, and this is set at 10 millimeters a second. We are going to use that, and we're going to set it up from there. And we are going to use that to vector cut, and we'll get our image after that, our stamp. Once we get this done, we're going to open it, and we're gonna bring in the backing and we'll do the exact same process we'll line up our piece of wood in the laser we'll engrave it and then we'll cut it out and then later on we will merge the two together and we will have a finished stamp that we can show you